Oh, I'm getting dust on my Rahalastapa notebook. I better put that away. That's not mine anymore. Uh, hello, my fan ball bag friends. Hello, ball bags. Welcome to frame 123 of uh, self-playing snooker. Me 1 versus Me 2 snooker. If you came for the auction, stay for the snooker. You've got quite a treat ahead of you. Um, it's an ongoing contest. It's been running for over 10 years now. In which I, Richard Herring, played myself, Richard Herring, at snooker to find out which Richard Herring is the best Richard Herring at playing snooker. And uh, so far, that seems to be very much me too. The um, current score is 56 to me, 159 to me too. Could have been oh so different last week, I expect, if me too had won. But he didn't, he lost. Uh, so me won one in the Siravanella Sitharam Sastri Arena. Bad news about that. Uh, his family got in touch to say uh, they didn't want the arena. Even though it was the 10th anniversary, they didn't want the arena named after it. Them, uh, so uh, it is now named after Nanda Prasti, the 102-year-old Indian teacher. Started, sadly, passed away at the air. a good break of 102. He could teach so much in India, but he couldn't teach himself how to stay alive after being 102. That's that's the great tragedy of all of his work, or her work, I should say. I don't know their work. That's what you have to say these days, isn't it? Thanks to political correctness, gone mad. Um. And, uh, yeah, so here we are, Nanda Prusty, the Nanda Prusty, and I'm sure they're the Nanda Prusty's family. We all continue their teachings here. Yeah, Nanda Prusty's gone, I'm afraid, Hampton 123. One day you too will die, Hampton 123, I hope, on a, a Tuesday so we can name the arena after you. And I hope I outlive you. Um, that is my plan. We'll just crack on because, actually, you know, my wife's out. Uh, and the kids are asleep. My son's been sick today. Uh, so there is a chance that, uh, you know, he could call me down to clear up some vomit. This morning, my morning was spent up clearing uh, dog diarrhoea followed by child vomit. So, you know, what's the third one in that uh, triumvirate going to be? These things happen in three. So I wonder which effluent is going to spill next. Um, 102 is a very good break. Not the maximum break, maximum 147, of course. That's what we should all be aiming for. Um, 56, 59, let's speak to me one. He's just sitting down and I can see him just sitting down now. He sat down now. And uh, how do you feel about last week's win? Richard, it's very uh, important to me to have won the 10th anniversary frame. Um, I lost the first frame. Uh, I've won 56 of the frames since then. And one of them was the 10th anniversary frame, frame 122. So um, feeling pretty good. Do you remember much about the match? I don't it's interesting. Does it usually have this little fade between? I don't know. I think this might be a new thing that's added in it. This little... Ooh. It's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know if it's deliberate or not. I don't know. Chris Evans is a tricky man. He has many, many different facets to him, me one. Um... Do you remember much about last week's frame? I don't remember anything about it at all, Richard. Did it happen? Well, if it's up there as a podcast, it happened. That is, uh, that's my belief. My belief too. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, no, I like it. It gives a little bit of time. <laughs> it seems very realistic, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you're listening to the audio version of this, there's, there's the, the crossover between the... I mean, this is you know. The, I said next week was going to be exciting with the changes, but nothing could be more exciting than this. Oh, it's oh, it's gone back to normal. I think it was just a mistake. I think it was just a lag, wasn't it? Yeah, completely back to normal now. Yeah, no, okay. Um, <laughs> that's why you have to watch it live. You have to watch it live. Uh, next week uh, we are planning on some exciting developments. Whether they will have come off um, is another question, but. Uh, you can expect to see some changes here at uh, the Nanda Prusty Arena. Um, do you think you can win today's frame, me one? That is very much what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I'll, I'll win this, then it'll be 57, 59, and that is nowhere near as bad, is it? It's, it's true, if you win today, then uh, you are right back in this. I thought I thought you were like, when you were four frames down, I thought, oh, it's over. But three frames, not. it looks like it's impossible, but if it was two frames, that's the way I'm thinking. I'm glad you're thinking that too. Uh, that's me one there, one of the contenders. Very polite today and charming young man. Do you, do, before you go, me one, do you think uh, the Conservatives should have had the Christmas party last year? The, the, well, look, Rich, 
the Conservative Party, the, our Prime Minister and all the ministers and all the people that work at Downing Street were very hard. And um, they spent a whole year looking after us, making sure we were all fine. And if they can't just have a little, let their hair down at the end of that, then, you know, what's the point in all their hard work and looking after us for the rest of the year? So I think let's give them the respect they deserve and uh, let's leave. Just leave. We don't have to talk about it. Let's leave it. You know, none of us have worked as hard as they have. None of us have taken the risks they've taken and uh, and, and lived with the responsibility of guiding us through this awful time as well as they have. So I'd just like to, you know, a lot of people are knocking them. I'd just like to say good luck to them. I'm, I've got a house. I've got a wife and two kids. And... God bless Boris Johnson. That's what I say. Well, I don't know if all your fans will uh, love that, uh, me one. Uh, you did seem uh, sort of more reasonable. Normal man you were. What could be no more normal than being a Tory, Richard? That is true, I suppose. They do keep winning, so that is that is normal. Um, me too. I don't think we'll be as happy with uh, Boris Johnson. Um, I won't ask him. It was unpleasant, wasn't it, to find out. It's, you shouldn't. We should just talk about snooker. He's just sitting down now. Me too. How are you feeling about the loss, Richard? I'm disappointed, of course, and disgusted with myself. Uh, I've heard a couple of my young fans in hospital died, either during or just after that frame. Uh, I hold myself partly responsible, and uh, I have to win for those kids. Me one. Maybe he's doing it for his own genetic children. Maybe that makes him better than me. I don't know. I think the fact that I'm you know, obviously not looking after the kids or doing anything to provide for their welfare, but I'm playing snooker in order to keep them stay alive and they're not genetically related to me. I think that makes me probably, you know, that I did put myself around a little bit. Uh, I think that makes me the greatest human being that's ever lived. But that's not for me to say. That's true. Well, you know, it's an interesting way of looking at it, you know, with looking after your own kids. Yeah, I mean, you've got to do that. That's That shouldn't be something that is seen as admirable is it but uh yeah to care for other kids yeah not that much i don't care about them that much and not in a, an unpleasant way as well just in case you're thinking that um you know but enough that if i can play snooker and that gives them hope why shouldn't i do that but it's a good question to me too you I, you I, you know when this started out i thought you were a, a bit of a dick um i still do but me one has become a bigger dick and you seem less of a dick as in comparison the worrying thing is, Richard, we're both 50% of your characters, so, you know. Yeah, but I've never voted Tory. 50% of you would like to. OK, maybe. Um, shall we just get on with the snooker, see what happens? Have we forgotten anything? I don't think, I think it's literally as simple as this. Uh, the board's all set up. I saw the referee one do it earlier. It's very rare to see the referee set the board up. It was a delight. Oh, he's, uh, by the way, Rich, yeah, he's found the original, the small triangle, the right size triangle, so everything. Oh, has he? At last. Yeah, it was down behind all the puppets over there. Oh, good. When he when he was tidying up the room, he found it. Good. Well, I'm glad it got found. Has he found my uh, AirPod Pros? No. Has he found the, the pen for one of my little devices that I make notes on? No, he didn't find that. Wish I was. Wish I looked after my stuff better. Me too. Let's head over to commentator one, commentator two in the uh, Nanda Prosti Arena. No need to check that name. That's a name we all know, we all love. Um, if you're watching from India, sorry for your loss, guys. I'm sure there's a. And it's very popular in India this show, and uh, nice to. Has the views gone down since we after the auction? So insulting. Over to commentator one, commentator two. Let's see if it's working in the old Nanda Prosti Arena. Hello, Richard. Here we are, Nanda Prosti Arena. Um, there was a scorecard there for a second. It's gone. Uh, me one is breaking at the, the hockey today, I believe. Hope you can hear me. There it is. Normal man versus the very strong breeze. 56-59 out of infinity frames. The Nanda Prosti Arena. Let the festivities commence. Me one. We're now going in off. Will it happen? No. Oh, nearly pot. It's nearly the most exciting. Starts with that. me too. Oh, what a shot. Just doesn't quite get the position on the black he was after, but what a shot. And oh, ho, ho, ho. me too has begun as he means to carry on. This could be the maximum. This could be the maximum commentator too. Oh, no, it's the red. But it's 8-0 to 
Me too. He stall out. His stall said, I'm going to win. Me one. It's a his stall. miss when I try and get the ball. Me too. Oh, that was, that was, that was poor. Me one. one. Me one at the hockey. Gives it a crack. Oh, nearly got to, nearly got a rebound into the centre pocket. I'm sure that's what he was aiming for. Otherwise, that would have been a ridiculous shot. Me too. He needs one of those long sticks, really. Oh, he hasn't potted the red and he hit the brown. And the referee one saw it with his Stuart snooker stick. Gaggly dink, gaggly dink. Me one, four, me two, eight. And his half of his lead is gone. Me one. Cannot really miss that red. Tries to get up on the black. Valiant attempt, but it doesn't make it. He's going for the pink instead. Oh, Oof. nearly goes in off, but doesn't. And now we've got him. Now we've got a match on our hands. Five, eight, me too. Looked like it was all over, didn't it? And that was terrible. That was a terrible shot, but he's, ooh. Me one. Yes, uses a plant there to pop the red. Can he get the second ice break of the night? He has got, he's on the second ice break. Can he make it the equal highest with the red? He's potted the pink, if you're listening. In audio only. He's got a break of seven. Can he make it a break of eight? Got to be a good chance of getting one of those at the top here. He's done it. Oh, and look at that. He's almost on the black. Oh, but the, what, a, what a shame the red's got in the way. I think that's the end of this break. He does want to get the points. He's going for the green. This is crazy. Actually overcut it. So a break of eight for me one. Leaps into the lead, calculating, calculating, me one, 13, me two, eight. And if you thought me two had this in the bag, think again. But me too. Oh, should have really gotten the green there, but he's potted the red. Going for the brown, centre pocket. Oh, it danced around the pocket. Just went around the whole thing, but... Didn't drop in. Unlucky for me too, because he was perfectly on the next red, which of course now me one is. Me one pops that red. He's coming down for the, maybe for the pink. Over hits it. Is he going to go in off? Not quite. Me one. Oh, if he can win today, we suddenly have a tournament on our hands. If me two takes it, surely me one can't come back again from. But me too. He's potted a red. Going for a long blue. Oh, didn't do too badly. Nearly gets a knock in. Oh, nearly knocks in there. Me one. Me one. Three reds left on the table. I don't need to tell you that. Even if you're listening in audio, you know that. Me one. He's fucked up there. Fucked up royally badly. Me two. He pots the red with a plant. He's coming down. Is he going to go for the brown? I think he, that's probably the safest option. It's time it dances around the pocket but drops. He's got a break of five, third highest break of the frame. Oh, he had, should have got that fairly straightforward red. But me too has taken the lead. 15 14, excuse me, I've just had some Heineken zero. And me one is snooker. Me one gets out of the snooker. What? Oh, nearly and how? And that would have been an incredible shot. Unfortunately, me too can eat that up for breakfast. He's potted a red. He's extending his lead, and there's a good chance of a three ball break here. He's potted the green. Final red's right over the pocket for him. He's got a three ball break. What's he coming up for? Even he's not sure about this. Caught in the jaws of the pocket. So three more break and only five points for me too. But he's suddenly taking command. Calculating, calculating, me one, 14, me two. Calculating, 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 20, me one. Has a go up the yellow, misses. Is it gonna be a snooker? No, me too. Oh, over, over hit, over cuts it again. Me one, tries a double, fails, me too. Bit more considered as he doubled it. Oh yes, he has. 
Did he mean to? Who knows? No one can get in his brain. Oh. Oh, me too. Now taking control. But it's close. We all know that these last balls have more points on them for some reason. Me one had a chance there. Snatched at it, failed. Me too does not miss a chance like that. Although he has quite badly snookered himself now. Oh, and that did not come off the cushion as he meant it to. Is it going to make it? Oh, it hasn't made it. Me too. Gets three points for getting the green, but gives away four. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 18. Me two, calculating. 25. 25. There's two, 22 points on the table. Me one. Oh, not sure that's what he meant to do. Me two, can he double? No, not like that. Me one. The angle's acute, but me one is a cute player. He misses it. Me too. Oh, come on, you fucking useless lump of shit. Me one. Oh, just hit it a bit too hard. It was a good direction. Me too. Knows if he can get a couple of these. It's game over. Me one. Oh, that was a shot. That was crisp. That was clean. In it went. The brown's gone down. Me one. He's potted the blue. Oh, nearly went in off, but he hasn't gone in off. I think that's it for the, for the, is it? Oh, what a bold attempt, what a brave attempt. Nine points for me one, puts him in the lead. 27, 25, but he's just left the pink right over the pocket. And me two doesn't miss shots like that. And he's got it right up the table. This could be the highest break of the night to end on. Should be. Me too. Well, will he come to regret that? The easiest shot you've probably seen him make all night. You could tell what the minute the ball left his, the cue left his fingers, he was gonna miss. Me one, tries to double it. You have to admire the bravery of me one. Me too. Oh, he makes up for the previous mistake with a sublime black. I think that puts him on 38. Me one on 27. According to my mathematics, that is a victory for me too. 27 38. What a low scoring frame. Hardly any mistakes, just pure snooker. Some a break of seven there at the end, a break of six just before that. Absolutely thrilling stuff. It's 56 plays 60. The first player to hit 60 frames is me too. He's done it a week after the 10th anniversary. He'll be disappointed in that. He would have hoped to get to 60 frames in less than 10 years. But it's taken him 10 years and a week. And he's done it. I think there's more frames for me too in this in the future. That Richard, we're, it's back to you. 56-60, the score today, 27-38. Commentator 2 didn't really join in. Again, I apologise for that. And uh, back to you in the Nandan Prestige interview room, Richard Herring. Goodbye. Thank you, Commentator 1. That was uh, astonishing stuff. Um, and uh, oh, the big change so far is uh, I now charge my mics over there. So they're not under the table and uh, it makes it much easier to get them because it used to just I took out all the superfluous wires that's the big news on the snooker arena there may be bigger news in the snooker arena next week tune in next week if you want to see if there is um pretty exciting you know it was pretty good wasn't it it was a pretty nice there's some nice snooker there imagine if that board had been flat how many uh how many points might have been made Imagine if it had your name written on it. How much would you pay for that? I should eBay that. Um, let's quickly talk to, first of all, the losing player, me one. How are you feeling? And not so bad, Richard. Look, um, the Tories are still in power and um, Boris Johnson's still doing a great job. And he's not going anywhere, let's face it. And um, I thought I played pretty well. I got a break of eight, three balls in a row. No one could take that away from me. And... Uh, um, unlucky, you know, it could have gone either way. I mean, me too had that ch opportunity to take it, failed. I took the chance. He, he pulled off a much harder shot to win. So 
It's it's on. It looks like a lot, doesn't it? Those night when you look at it, eleven points, but all on that black, all spun on that black, doesn't it? As it has done so often. It's a, it's a game of tiny little percentages, tiny little differences, and that's why I love it, and that's why I'm back next week to to win. And I hope my fans will stick with me. It doesn't matter if you don't agree with me politically. What you agree with is that. The way I play snooker is the way to play snooker. The way me too, me too plays, come on. No one should be playing like that. Play like me. And normal man, no need to get weird about it. I'm not doing it to save lives. I'm doing it to make people happy. If I save lives, fine. If I kill some people, fine. As long as some people are happy and as long as a good game of snooker has gone on. And I think it has today and I'm happy. Well, philosophical there from the man. Four frames adrift. If he loses next week, it'll be five frames of drift. I don't know if he realises that. I just asked, do you realise that? Yeah, I did realise that. So he did realise that. Um, here's the man of the hour, me too. How are you feeling? Well, Richard, um, yeah, good. Cool. I thought I'd win and I did win. Um, I've had news from the hospitals that all the kids are okay. They all watched it and, and all of them slightly improved. Look, for these kids, it's a lot of it's terminal. There's not, I, there's nothing I can do in the long term. But in the short term, I can give them something to hope to see next week. They'll be back next week to see me win, to see whatever it is you've got planned for the snooker arena. And, um, you know, I could be 61 frames next. Not two, I'm only nine frames and 69 frames, and that'll be a day, wouldn't it? Who's first to 69? That's the real competition we should be fighting for, if you ask me. Good, right, well I'm going to go and wrap up some uh, eBay presents, rewards, I don't know what they are, uh, and I uh, hope we get those in the post uh, tomorrow if you bid on those, thank you. If you'd missed the auction, it was thrilling, we should do that every week, um, really made a difference as well, really made a big difference to the money we made. Um, thanks to everybody for watching, thanks for everyone supporting this uh, fantastic podcast. Um, and this fantastic sport, and uh, I think one day, you know, the world will see how great this sport is. Anyway, from me and all the me's, stay safe out there, um, wear a mask, take your vaccines, and from me and all the me's, good night.